Hey. Hi. Hey. Do you hear me? I hear you. Hi. That was easy. What? That was easy. And we are on time. Perfect. Like German. Yeah, that's, that's the first you learn here. Be on time. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Nice. Just staying at home, watching the beautiful sunset here in Wolfsburg. <laughs> yeah, me too. Feel like I didn't see you for a long time because of national team. I know. I haven't seen you in two weeks almost. Yes, two weeks. Yeah. Did you oh, have a good time? Yes, of course. Hmm. Again, we uh, lose against Holland. And... Yeah, we had yes. chances in the second half, but yeah, we didn't score, so yeah, okay. it was okay. Yeah, but we've done a lot and now we improve. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a good game and it's important to get those games also now so you're, you're lucky that you could play them also yeah. did you watch the game no i didn't yeah but it was okay but we have enough time to the euro so um, yeah. at our best performance when yeah. 500 days to go huh yeah it's it's like it's a long time but i think it will go really fast yes mm. i think you, but are you excited or looking forward to it yeah oh, wow it's yeah something like you always look forward to when you have a like championship ahead uh, and now the euros for the first time for the both of us it's yeah. <laughs> it's huge yes i'm so excited mm. what are you looking most forward to yeah i hope the fans are allowed to be in the stadium oh, same. last year we played in wembley against the england, england team yeah, that's right. I think it was incredible. Like seventy-eight thousand people are watching the stadium. It was so nice. Then and I've I'm... already experienced it. That's so cool. <laughs> yes, you have uh, a little bit more experiences about it than you, maybe. <laughs> but you played. Hey, I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. nice and um, yeah, looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, same. It's but, like special also when it's in England. It's such a like football nation and the stadiums are great. And uh, yeah, it's something special about it. Yeah, the thing, women's football improved. So everyone team could win the Euros. Mm. So it's not that yeah, only one team is there or two or three who will win or who can or who are able to win. Mm. Yeah, it will be nice to watch also for the fans. Yeah, I think so too. I hope that they can come and that's what I look forward to as well, to have Norwegian fans in the stadiums and uh, family there and just uh, enjoy the moments of uh, a big championship like that. Yeah, it, w it will be nice, of course. <laughs> yeah, well. but it's so incredible that we play maybe against each other and it would be crazy to play against the old, you know? I know, and then I will know so many of you. It's yeah. your teammates here. What do you think that would be like? Like Ingrid's always the one who passes a lot and long balls on point and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, but, but... I love about you when you're discussing with the referee, like hello, it's a foul. We are not going to talk about that. You know? <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, so Lena is always laughing at me because I always say to the ref, ref, hello, hello. <laughs> that's the only thing I say when, I'm, when I don't agree. So, yeah, that's my phrase. <laughs> but it's so funny. Sometimes in the game I have to laugh about it. But in case I have to be focused on the game, but then you say something like this and I'm like, no, Ingrid, no. <laughs> yeah. You know, under pressure, it's hard to, like, speak German. Then I just end up saying, like, Kalu. <laughs> oh, I can't even argue. So, yeah, that's how it is. I learn it from me. Yeah. I learned it from you. Yeah, you're good at it. <laughs> no, I'm quiet. I'm a quiet person. On the, on the pitch, I'm never talking to the no, ref. never. I never hear you talk. <laughs> oh, okay. But seriously, if we would meet each other in the Euros, would you like talk talk to me before the game, or would you be like, 
uh, maybe maybe trash talk or something, but <laughs> no, I will talk to you, of course. Maybe not in the game because we both have to be focused, but maybe yeah. off. Yeah. And yeah. You, will you ignore me or? <laughs> No, I just I'm uh, gonna be a bit afraid. You're a you're a good team and you're a good player, so we have to, yeah. If we would meet, we have to be good. Yes, of, yes, of course. But I think we also it's not even that we are going in the in the game and like yeah we we will win. But mm -hmm. I think every team has to be on the be in the best form for the Euros. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. What is she saying? <laughs> He's writing. Girls, give me the place on Europe. Oh. Oh, Kasia, that's on your own power, you know? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kasia. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have uh, another thing I want to ask you. And that is, you were voted national team player of the year in Germany. And you are 19 years old. Were you 18 when you got the award? No. 19? Yeah. That's, that speaks for itself. It's incredible. How was it to receive this award? Yeah, it was nice to get this award because it felt like fans give me something back for the work we done or that we did. And uh, the times we're going on the pitch and um, go to the to the line where we can't even go far, you know, like, um, yeah, it's incredible to get this award and yeah, it gives me something back from the fans and it's nice to get this. Yeah, of course. And uh, yeah, it's incredible. You're so young and you have a big impact on the team already. So it's <laughs> very fun as a teammate to see this. Yeah, it's also fun when I'm on the pitch. Sometimes I uh, forget that I'm only 19. Mm. I talked to Poppy and so on, and then they're looking at me and I was like, oh shit, yes, um, I'm 19. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Do you feel that sometimes that you can't like, uh, uh, yeah, say so much because you're younger or do you just take the responsibility? <laughs> so sometimes I speak too much, you know, like too much, it's not right. Yeah, like, okay. Um, and so on, then Poppy said, yeah, focus. Yeah, yeah okay. Focus on the game. Yes. Mm. Yeah, but, but it's a part of being uh, being young and um, yeah. Yeah, you know. have to carry the goals, go in the middle when you play mm. too, and <laughs> there's so many things you have to do when you're young. <laughs> That's true. You have uh, yeah, it's some rules in Germany about that, isn't it? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, you know it the best. Like when we came to Germany, there are so many rules. Like you have to be there on point, and no smartphones in the, um, when you're eating or something. But how is it in? Do you have more rules, or it's kind of the same as a, but it's not as much as here, I think. But in some way, it's also good. Like, it's how it's supposed to be, I feel like, when everyone gets uh, gets to be the older player someday. Um, so, yeah, I think it's kind of good. And sometimes I like the discipline that is in Germany as well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it fits me, but uh, yeah, I think it's it's it can be good. Yes, sometimes nervous before the games that the older ones have have to um, keep me calm but do you have for the game or are what did you, you say now pitch and like yeah here i am what did you say i lost you um if you're ner nervous uh, before the game yeah. or you have any routine to get on it i think i i see you in the um cabin when we're playing together but is it the same in the national team or do you something different I have the same routines, I think, um, but it's kind of the same in the national team. You can uh, lean on the more experienced players and, of course, I can do that here also. Uh, but I also like to take responsibility and, yeah, maybe when I'm with the national team, I'm, I do that even more because it's easier with the language and, and stuff, but I feel like... 
on the pitch I'm the I'm the same and uh, I want to talk a lot and help the team so maybe it's better in Norwegian like in German <laughs> yeah but now I'm struggling because it's many Scandinavians in the team so now I like I have to speak uh, German I'm speaking Norwegian I'm speaking Swedish it's uh, yeah it gets maybe mixed up a bit because when you speak Scandinavian it sounds like you're singing together mm. we don't get it don't understand anything no like then you and Frido are talking to each other and we're like yeah what should we do yeah. <laughs> yeah it's uh, kind of nice sometimes that you don't understand us as well no <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> okay but back to the euros um germany is the most successful women's euro nation of all time Do you like feel pressure about that now in the current team? Um, no, I don't. I don't feel pressure, but yeah, maybe a little bit because everyone thinks, yeah, we're the Germans. We have to win it. We have to win yeah. like, everything, and we have to dominate the others. Mm. But um, in the last year, we had a kind of break. Like a lot of young players came up and mm. play. Like for example, Clara Bulls, Sofia Kleinherner. It's from the last game. We have a really young team, mm. some experienced players like Poppy, Sveni, or some some others. So um, it will be, yeah, nice to watch um, how we will develop and, yeah, maybe um, we can win it with the with the youngest team, you know. Yeah, and I mean it. It can be really good to have this mix of experienced players and young talent, and I think we. It's also like that for for us in Norway. Um, it's a it's a good mix of it. You have the uh, the older players, the more experienced experienced players who knows how it is to be in these situations in the in the championship and in the Euros, and they can like be a support for the younger ones. But you also, when you're younger, you're more you can be more unafraid than. Uh, you don't maybe you don't think so much about the consequences all the time so that yep. can also be a good thing i guess maybe it's the last chance to win a euro mm. have the first one ahead so mm. time to um yeah to win it maybe in the next years but i think norway won it twice or mm. so what do you think what are your chances to win it it's it's like we talked about it's so many good teams uh it's uh it's so much quality in the whole uh, championship and you to like go all the way you have to have luck you have to uh have a flow throughout the whole uh, competition but uh, i mean we have really good uh, mix of experienced and young talents in the team and we have players playing in the best teams and leagues in Europe so I think in a year we would be we will be good and we are capable of uh, beating anyone yeah but do you have some players to learn a lot from when you say the older ones helps you to uh, keep calm and so on for the game do you have one or two players where you can <laughs> a lot from it Uh, in a national team, I would say uh, Maren Mjelde, the captain, is uh, she's very calm and she uh, she's like a role model for for me and um, yeah she's uh, she's a good one to lean on and also Caroline Kram Hansen she's uh, also she knows what it's yeah what it's about she she knows the right things to say so I have players to lean on and and that's really nice. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I some real ones like I think from Poppy you can learn a lot of tackles and mm -hmm. your body, you know, mm -hmm. and when Marujan have the ball, I don't know who's able to uh, get the ball from her when the ball is on her feet. Mm -hmm. And when she have the ball and it's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be when I have the ball so so um calm as Maro and mm -hmm. nice to watch her. From the play center back that I can watch Maru do her thing. <laughs> It's really she's an amazing player and uh, good to have on the team. Yes, of course, and you mm -hmm. can develop it from her. 
Mm. It's incredible. Just mm. incredible. Should we do some team questions? I heard that you have prepared some. Yes, of course. I have my hard pick. Okay. So, how would you describe your role on the team? Ooh, like off the pitch or? Are you the DJ, the loud one, the quiet? I was DJ one time and you were not happy about it. So, yeah, but I said, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so I will not call myself the DJ. Um, I can be like the calm one, I think. The calm one, okay. Or? Yeah, the, old, the early one. No. The early one, yeah. <laughs> You're also that. Yes, I'm the early one. Because yeah. one time on national team, I um, stepped till 10 or something because my alarm didn't ring. Mm -hmm. And then I was so late. And, oh, it will never happen again. Okay, so you have the fear after that. So it, now you're always early. Learn from it. And now yeah. taking the alarm like twice um, in the four. Oof. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's the Germans, you know. We have yeah. to point. Yeah. <laughs> So the calm one. I don't know. Would you say that? Calm one fits, but yeah. Sometimes you're loud too, you know? Okay, yeah. I can sing and stuff. You can sing? No, I can't. No. Do it. <laughs> no. Next one, please. Okay. okay. Who's the funniest on the team? Okay, I I could actually say you. You are you can be funny because you say the first thing that comes to your mind, you know. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it's the it's the same song over and over again, and only one phrase I remember from this song. <gasps> yeah, but I can say you, and I also laugh a lot of Karina, maybe because we are from the same place, but she she's a funny one. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good job, Obi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Poppy is funny too. Remember oh, okay, she is. I when Amy bring her babies with and she was in the um, in the strength room and she was like with the babies doing some exercises. Oh, did Poppy do that? <laughs> What's so crazy? What's so funny? Cute. Yeah, now the la the last question I have here. Okay. Who on your team would be the most likely to win a sprint competition? I don't even have to. As a, we both know who that is. <laughs> huh? Me either. <laughs> it would be Eva Fajor. Yes. Oh, yeah. Of Easy. Course. Of course, Eva. Eva will do everything. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing her on the pitch again. Not, it's not that slow. First time mm -hmm. her, Frido, I was like, yeah. she's tall, but I didn't think she's so fast. And then in the training, she runs, and I was like, whew. Yeah, but she, she's also really fast with the ball. She's like, yeah, it's really hard to take it from her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. her also. When she's in front of you with the back, and you think, yeah, okay, I will defend her. And then she's mm -hmm. turned. Yeah. Turns and shoots in the... Yeah. Of course. Mm. Mm. Yes. So maybe we can choose some questions of the friend here. Yes. Ingrid, can you please sing? No. No, no, no. Is it one thing I'm not going to do? It's singing. <laughs> sing, sing. <laughs> no. So here, what do you miss most about not living at home? Okay, should I answer that? or yeah, We both can answer it, but go first. Okay, well, the hardest part is not seeing my family uh, as much as I want. Uh, and also now in Corona, it's uh, even harder. So it's been a tough year, uh, but I was lucky to see them in Christmas. But yeah, that's... That feels like the biggest sacrifice. Yes, I think so too. Yeah, it's the family who's missing here. You know, like <laughs> my dog is missing here. It's so yeah. yeah, when you wake up and there's a dog, 
it's so nice. Yeah. And the 18 years, I always had a dog. Oh, and really? To have one here in Augsburg. Mm. Yeah. You should get one your own. Yeah, but I think I don't have the time for it. Like when I... That's true. Like with the Euros, I'm hopefully three mm. weeks or something. Mm. And then I don't know who will take care. Just take it to... Give it to the family. <laughs> <laughs> huh? My family actually got a dog when I moved out. So... Oh yeah maybe he gets your room and everything <laughs> yeah he replaced me so that's nice <laughs> okay do we have any more please ask us yeah lena we have a german question here but you can answer in english it's really this Wie sieht dann wie sieht denn ein typischer Tag in Wolfsburg bei euch au, aus? Oh nein, you speak German so well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, good question. When we are training one once a day, it's like standing up late at 10 or 11, making mm -hmm. first and then going to the training because I'm always one hour before training starts I'm there and um, do some exercises and after it I just chill and yeah relax watching Netflix or something something mm -hmm. the other but during corona it's hard yeah that's my day and you Ingrid? or yeah, what I think I don't do so much other than football <laughs> And it's not so much to do now also. We just hang out with teammates when we can. And then it's all about the training. Yeah, training, training, training. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like every time in German, we have training. Yeah. Oh, next question. Whoa, I lost it. I lost it. No. Do you sleep long or do you wake up early or do you sleep long? in the morning mm -hmm. actually i like to uh to not sleep so long i like to like get up pretty early i don't know eight maybe eight, eight. nine eight it's not that early but or it's, early. it's so early it's in the middle of the night yeah but when do you go to bed you are crazy yeah i go to bed at 11 Okay. And then sleep until 11. <laughs> <laughs> you need your beauty sleep. Yeah. I sleep. I'm a, I'm a baby, you know. I'm only 19. I have to sleep. Is that the, like, most important preparation for you? Sleep? Yeah. Sometimes after that, I feel like I'm a new person. Oh. The second day after the game. Because after the game, I didn't sleep well. Yeah. The next day, I have to sleep so much. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. Most difficult player to play against. Oh, I like Ooh. you. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I played against Midema and she was so good. I don't... Oh. It's crazy, really. Mm. If you're perfect and you defend perfect, she finds a way. Mm. Good. And I, yeah, it's crazy. She's so good. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'm going to go for... Panille, harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, met her in training um, when I first came here, and um, she's so good. Like in both training and games, it's yes, not easy to play against. A lot because she moved, but the things I saw in training and in the games, she was really good. Mm. She was. Should we take one last question? Yes, maybe we can take one. Do you want to choose one or? Hmm. To find a good one now. Do you find one? 
Uh, maybe you can sing when you, it takes too much time. You can sing. I'm looking for a question. Um, I don't know. It says, who is your biggest inspiration? Oh, that's a, that's a good... <laughs> I think... A hard I, one in the end. Yeah, so my, my biggest inspiration is uh, my brother, because mm -hmm. he plays, or played the same um, position as me, also centre-back, and he understands the football, and yeah, every time I can, I have questions, I can ask him, and yeah, it's nice to watch him playing. That's yeah. really good. Both football and then also like uh, support for you. Yes, of course. But yes. also, nice. she she's not playing um, football soccer anymore. She's playing American football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah, I wanted to watch her, but because of Corona, they didn't play, and so yeah. this has uh, to wait. <laughs> yeah, I see. That was a good ending, Lena. Lena, why did I say that? Would be. <laughs> okay. I think we need to round this up. I'm like, who, who's that? Yeah, who's, who's that? <laughs> That's you. Hi. Okay. But then we should uh, thank everyone for watching. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we are really looking forward to the Euros in England 2022. Yes. See so. you there. See you. Bye. Bye.